Hey! So this one's a little bit different of a video. I'm going to be unboxing and putting together these Miniverse Make It food. Um, I love many things. I like building things and I collect all the, you know, five surprise mini things. So this was just super fun. I got four packs of these. We're gonna unbox them and I'll do as many as I feel like doing in this video. And we'll see what they look like at the end. Ah ha ha. It's really cold in the garage, so my lens keeps fogging up. Keep cold. Happy Sun Farms. Another Happy Sun Farms. Another Happy Sun Farms. Silverware. And I don't know. But I, I think this is the container. Ooh. Little Sunday cup. <laughs> we got little strawberries. Let's get this. Silverware. The tiniest little spoon I ever did see. More strawberries and raspberries. <gasps> and blueberries. What's this one? Is this whipped cream? <gasps> Glaze. Okay. Okay, so we got this one. And it's just add all of it and mix it together. All right, so number two. Number one was that fruit cup. So we'll open this one and see what I got. Made fresh. Ooh, it's a donut box. Ah! Ooh. Oh my god. <gasps> Little tiny donuts. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, back in there. What's this one? Okay, this is gonna be the glaze. Okay, so this is the glaze. Same glaze as the first one. And the, the lid. And I think this one comes with sprinkles. And a display thing. <gasps> sprinkles, yes. And a tray. Oh my God, yes. This I can use in my tiny house. Okay, number three. Another spoon. Oh, good morning. Maybe this is a coffee thing. Ooh, it's a bowl. Ah, <laughs> that's the cutest little bowl I've ever done. So, yeah. All right, this is to keep it frozen. Also, you can cut right here to make it look like a grocery bag, but I don't care to do that. Is milk. Is it a milkshake? Oh, it's cereal. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited about that one. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. Oh my God. Okay, last one. I hope I get a milkshake this time or a boba.
the very least, I got something different for sure. So this one is keep it cool. So I'm guessing it's a cold drink. What is, it doesn't feel like a spoon, but I could be wrong. It's a straw, yay. So maybe I got like a boba or something. Ooh, ice cubes. It's juice, I think, raspberry juice. <gasps> Raspberries, blackberries, blackberries. And a cup, oh, oh my God, the cup, oh my God, it's so fucking cute. Oh, oh my goodness, I, oh, I'm so excited. All right, so uh, we got the berry cup and we got these donuts, which I think are my second favorite. I would have loved the pink one, but I will take that. Uh, we got a bowl of cereal, which I really, really, really wanted. And I wanted this one, but we got the um, raspberry smoothie. And I hope in my next round I'll get some boba, but for now I think I got like really good options and they're all things that I could potentially put in my dollhouse and or make a necklace out of because I think the cereal necklace would be cool um, and then the drink could be a keychain the donuts could be earrings uh, I don't know but this this set or these things are just I love them I'm in love with them and it comes with the directions on the back and they're perforated so you can peel them apart which is what I did and I put each one in here so that when I go to put them together, I still have the directions and I know what I'm making. I say 10 out of 10. All right, now it's time to make it. Now, these are very, very simple. They come with very simple instructions and they are super, super cute. Even the waste uh, product, like the little donut box are usable. So I'll be keeping that. And the directions were just put the glaze on the donut and apply the sprinkles. And one part of me just thought that I could be chaotic and just throw the sprinkles on the donut. Another part of me wanted to be a little bit more controlled, but I forgot all of that once I tried to get the icing out of the squeeze bottle. It took a while, it didn't want to come out at first, and then when I did get it out, I put entirely too much on the donut. <laughs> You'll see that I struggle, and then it comes out and I just overfill the donuts. And I recommend either applying a really, really, really small amount or using a UV light while you paint the donut because, as you can see in my poorly recorded footage here, the center of the donut is full and it now doesn't look like a donut with a hole. I tried to suck some of it back up. That didn't really work. I kind of avoided that. Then I went on to applying the sprinkles. I decided to use the tweezers as to not get resin on me. Ideally, you probably should wear gloves with this just to be extra safe, but I didn't and then I got resin everywhere. The donuts are definitely one of the cuter items in this set, but I think it's probably the hardest to make aesthetically pleasing because you have a very narrow window of um, error. Eventually I just start sticking them on with my finger and uh, yes, my fingers got covered in resin and no, that's not a good thing and I'm sorry in advance, but I just did what I did because I had to. Okay. <laughs> so that one's done and I put the extras in the ball and set everything aside to dry. So we went on to the second one, which was the fruit bowl. Super fun. Um, I don't think I would ever eat a giant bowl of fruit like this. <laughs> Maybe in like a, I don't know, an ambrosia salad or something, but I put a little bit of the resin in the bottom of the cup and then I tried to strategically or aesthetically place some of the fruit. Um, and I put the cap in the bottom of the bowl to raise up some of the fruit so that it would look more full because I knew from watching some of the other videos that it wouldn't really work but then I was worried it would get too full and I'd have too much left over so I backed out of that and then I tried to line the outside of the bowl with the thin cut strawberries to make that like aesthetic flower holding the fruit look and then I just alternated between the raspberries and the blueberries adding more resin mixing it up with the spoon yada 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 
And I, that, that's what takes me to the end of this one. I ended up having blueberries left over, which I use in a different project later. And I don't think it's one that I film in this video. This one I think was the most like tedious because it was a lot of the same step, but you had to kind of think about where you're putting stuff. Otherwise it just would be a jumbled mess and the strawberries would overtake the blueberries. Um, I believe I used all of the resin in this set. Some of the other ones don't use all the resin. Like I think you get entirely too much resin for the donuts, but that's okay. You get, if you get enough of these at once, you can kind of use what's left over from one and add it to the other. Now the cereal is my favorite. I would like to get another one and make like friendship necklaces. Um, I'm also keeping the box from this one uh, and I'm gonna use the box in my diorama setup. It's just too stinking cute. Now I could make my own boxes. I do know how to make and design little packaging, but this one was already made for me and that's just so easy and cute. And the milk is really hard to get out of the jug. I'm just gonna warn you, um, it's really difficult. And I also recommend with the cereal to put something underneath the first layer of milk because there is not enough cereal to make it look like a full bowl of cereal after you mix the milk and the, the um, Fruit Loops with it because it just ends up looking like a half-eaten bowl of cereal. So if you want it to have that like heaping full bowl look, like you just poured it and you're getting ready to watch your Cartoon Network Saturday morning cartoons, you're gonna wanna add something below the milk and then let that harden and then add some milk and the cereal to it. Um, I didn't do that, but I'm gonna do it next time if I can get my hands on any more of these. Uh, since filming this video, it has been completely sold out in my area and I haven't been able to get any of them. But I did get four more uh, of these immediately after filming. Um, I just didn't film making any of them, but at the end of the video, I'll show you. Anyways, so I went on to make the raspberry juice and I kind of alternated ice and raspberry and juice, ice, raspberry, juice, and I think it looked really, really cute. Um, but then I realized that I did not leave enough room for the straw and I struggled for a little bit to kind of wiggle it around in there to find its place. Um, I really wanted to make sure I used as much as I could to make it look like a full drink. Um, because I didn't want to have too much left over, but I didn't want to have just like one or two things left over. So I did my best. That one's very, very cute. It's a drink I would definitely drink in real life, but I don't know where it would fit in my tiny house. And as you can see here, we got the cereal. It looks so cute all put together like that. It's so cute. And the drink is adorable. The the packaging is cute, I can reuse that. And then I thought the donuts just looked really nice next to a bowl of fruit. Um, since the donut glaze was clear and not white, it kind of just looks like a really moist donut and I'm not sure how I like, think, feel about that. So I have a little curiosity cabinet and this is where I keep all of my finished pieces. So if I open this, there's my little drink, my donuts and my fruities. That's extra packaging. The little bowl of cereal, you can see it doesn't really look full. It looks, I mean, it's full, but it's not like that honking cereal bowl that you'd make on Saturday morning. I did end up going back and getting more mini things and I got that coffee. As you can see, it's very messed up. That would be because of my toddler. Um, here's just a little tour. I've got some other little mini things that I've collected. And I did end up getting the other donuts. And I did get a boba, which I was very, very happy about. And I used the rest of the blueberries from the fruit cup in this other fruit cup. And then I just have a bunch of little makeup and that is it. That is my little curio cabinet. And that is where I plan to put more little mini things and fill it up as I get them. Cool.